We wake up, go to work, chase our goals, and yet, there's this nagging voice inside us. A voice that says, there isn't enough, or you're not enough. This voice, it belongs to our ego. It's there to protect us. But sometimes, it becomes our biggest obstacle. In our world, the whispers of scarcity are everywhere. We're told to compete, to strive for more, to constantly seek success. But where does it leave us? Often, exhausted, unfulfilled, and disconnected from true abundance. But what if we could change that? What if we could quiet those whispers and reconnect with the abundance that's always around us? What if we could see the world through the lens of plenty, not lack? Abundance is often misunderstood. We tend to equate it with wealth, money, possessions, or luxury. But true abundance is much more than that. It's a state of being, a feeling of richness in every aspect of life. Love, health, happiness, and inner peace. It's about living in a state of overflow, where you have more than enough to give, to share, and to enjoy. Like a river. It doesn't worry about how much water it carries. It doesn't hold back, fearing it might run dry. It simply flows, knowing there's always more where that came from. This is the essence of abundance, trusting that there's always more, always enough, and that you are worthy of receiving it. Yet as natural as abundance is, there's a part of us that struggles with it. This part is the ego. The ego is like a child afraid to let go of its toy, worried that if it does, it may never get it back. The ego tells us to hold on, to cling to what we have, to fear scarcity. It whispers doubts, planting seeds of fear that we might not have enough, or that we're not deserving of more. This fear, this hesitation, is what often keeps us from fully embracing the abundance that's available to us. The ego's fear of losing control, of stepping into the unknown, can create a barrier that limits our potential. Eastern philosophies, such as Taoism and Buddhism, offer profound insights into the nature of abundance and how to overcome the ego's limitations. In Taoism, there's a concept known as Wu Wei, which translates to effortless action. It's the idea of aligning with the natural flow of life, of doing without forcing, and allowing things to unfold in their own time. Imagine a leaf drifting on a stream. It doesn't fight the current, it goes where the water takes it, effortlessly, gracefully. This is the principle of Wu Wei, acting in harmony with the world around you, without resistance, without force. When you embrace this mindset, you open the door to abundance, allowing it to flow into your life naturally and without effort. Buddhism teaches us the importance of mindfulness, being fully present in the moment. When we are mindful, we can appreciate the abundance that already exists in our lives. We stop chasing after more and start recognizing the richness of what we already have. This shift in perspective can transform our experience of life, making us more open to receiving the gifts that are constantly being offered. Throughout history, stories have been used to convey wisdom about abundance and the human experience. These stories remind us that abundance is not just about material wealth, but about a mindset of openness and trust. There is a Taoist story of the farmer and the horse. One day the farmer's horse runs away, and the neighbors say, Such bad luck! The farmer simply responds, Maybe. A few days later, the horse returns, bringing several wild horses with it. The neighbors now exclaim, such good luck. But the farmer again says, maybe. The story continues with a series of events, each time showing how what seems like a curse can turn into a blessing, and vice versa. This story teaches us that life is full of unexpected turns. What might seem like a loss could lead to even greater abundance. The key is to stay open, to not rush to judgment, 
and to trust that everything is unfolding in its own perfect way. Despite the wisdom offered by these philosophies and stories, the ego often resists. It resists change, it resists letting go, and it resists the idea that there is enough for everyone. The ego thrives on fear, fear of scarcity, fear of failure, fear of the unknown. This fear can become a prison, trapping us in a mindset of lack and limitation. But the truth is, there is room for your abundance. There is room for all of us to thrive, to grow, to live in harmony with the world and each other. The challenge is to quiet the ego's voice, to step beyond the fear, and to embrace the infinite possibilities that lie before us. So how do we do this? How do we move past the ego's limitations and step into a life of abundance? It begins with awareness, awareness of the ego's fears, of the limiting beliefs that have been ingrained in us, and of the abundant nature of the universe. Start by identifying the beliefs that are holding you back. What stories has your ego been telling you? Are they true? Challenge these beliefs and replace them with affirmations of abundance. Remind yourself daily that you are worthy, that there is enough, and that you are capable of receiving all that life has to offer. Practice mindfulness. Be present in each moment, appreciating the abundance that already exists in your life. Whether it's the beauty of nature, the love of friends and family, or the simple joy of a peaceful moment. These are all manifestations of abundance. But abundance is not just about thinking and believing, it's also about action. Inspired action. This is action that comes from a place of alignment with your true self, from a deep sense of purpose and intuition. When you act from this place of inspiration, you are not forcing things to happen. Instead, you are co-creating with the universe, allowing opportunities to flow to you naturally. This is the essence of Wu Wei, doing without doing, achieving without effort. Abundance is also about giving. When you give freely, whether it's your time, your energy, or your resources, you create a flow of positive energy. This flow naturally attracts more abundance into your life. Think of it as a cycle. The more you give, the more you receive. And the more you receive, the more you have to give. This is not just about material wealth. It's about sharing your gifts, your talents, and your love with the world. When you do this, you are contributing to the collective abundance, creating a ripple effect that benefits everyone. Finally, abundance requires trust. Trust in the process, trust in the timing, and trust in yourself. Just as a gardener plants seeds and patiently waits for them to grow, you must trust that your efforts will bear fruit in time. There will be challenges, there will be setbacks, but these are all part of the journey. Trust that each step, each experience, is bringing you closer to your fullest expression of abundance. In the end, abundance is about recognizing the infinite possibilities that exist within and around you. It's about stepping beyond the ego's fears, embracing the flow of life, and trusting that there is truly room for your abundance. The universe is vast, and its potential is limitless. And so are you. Remember, you are worthy of abundance. There is enough for everyone and there is more than enough for you. Open your heart, quiet your mind, and let the abundance of the universe flow into your life. Your journey to a life of limitless possibilities begins now. Trust, believe, and know that there is truly room for your abundance. Your ego might resist, but deep down, your true self knows the way. Embrace it, live it, and watch your life transform.